I've got a comparison for you. Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear. Here today I have the Ranchilio Silvio, which has been around forever and a day, and I have the Breville Barista Express, which this has been around for a little while. This is the second generation. The Silvia has had, phew, let's see, four different variations of the same Silvia. If you see somebody out there calling it Silvia 1, 2, 3, and 4, that's the, uh, the public that has named that machine. It's still the Silvia, just different versions, uh, as in they changed a couple of slight things. And I'm going to talk about that. So the Silvia stainless steel casing, single boiler machine. The boiler is made out of brass. And the latest version, which is what this one here is, has a stainless steel heating element that is removable from the brass boiler. If for some reason you happen to burn up the boiler, the heating element, now you just take the element out, put a new element in. Before it was the whole boiler, much more expensive. And the stainless steel is um, a little more impervious to blowing out the heating element. Uh, water tank right back here, uh, 67 ounces, and it comes out just like that for you to fill it up. Two hoses, one is the intake that sucks the water up, takes it into the boiler. This one is a excess that will come back into the water tank from the boiler. Plastic lid on that. This is your on off button. This is your brew button. This machine happens to have the PID attached to it that we, we install here at Seattle Coffee Gear. If you buy just the bare machine, it will not have that PID. So you would brew with this button. You would dispense water from the steam arm uh, with this button. And this is your steam button. I have the steam side on right now so I can show you the steaming power. It's a traditional steam arm which has a single hole, uh, which means it's not a Panarello. You're going to have to master the technique of steaming. But once you do, excellent steaming power. 58 millimeter full size portafilter, which and a little bit of residual coffee in there. Brew head up here. Drip tray. That is one of the down, uh, one of the cons to this machine. It's a little bit small drip tray. It's not very big. But the overall size, size of the machine itself isn't going to take over your whole kitchen. You do, this is a non-pressurized port filter. You do need a decent grinder to go with it. We recommend uh, the Barazza line has some good ones. Uh, the Ranchilio has the Rocky Grinder that is a good pair with this machine. Okay, moving over here, the Breville Brisa Express has a grinder built into it. It's basically the smart grinder built into this machine. Uh, the one nice feature about this is if you want to uh, take and change your beans out, you can, un you can, there's a valve here that opens and closes. You can take this out, dump the beans, put some other beans in, put it back in. You're good to go. Also, the uh, burrs on this, uh, I can show you down. You won't be able to see it really. The top burr comes out. That's the handle for it. You can take the top burr out and you can clean down in there. So that's kind of a nice feature as well. Stainless steel clad over plastic casing. So it's not solid stainless steel like the Sylvia. It has a boiler on the inside that is a thermal coil. And I know we featured it in another video and check that video out. It's a boiler that has a bunch of channels in it. And the channel, it's aluminum boiler, but the channels are stainless steel lined with a Teflon in there to keep it from uh, scale building up in it. So it heats in a coil. On the steam side is a thermo block, which means it has its own heating element that the water passes over and makes steam on the fly. Traditional steam arm with a single hole. Again, the same basic technique that you'd be using on the Sylvia where you have to master it. You can dispense hot water out of this machine. This is the later version that has the hot water dispenser. The steam and the hot water are controlled right over here. It has a smaller portafilter. It does not have the full size 58. I think it's a, I'm not going to say. I know it's a little a different size. The, one of the nice features on this machine, it comes with four baskets, two singles, two doubles, two of the non-pressurized, which means get the grind right, tamping right, all of that, get that all lined up, you get a great shot. Non-pressurized for those people that don't want to fuss around a lot. Get the grind close, give it a tamp, you'll still get a decent shot. Non-pressurized, a better shot. Pressurized, a good shot, but not quite as good. 
It's got a built-in tamper right here that's magnetic. Grinder, you just take this, put it over here, and tap it in, and it'll grind right down into your portafilter. This suggests how much goes down into your portafilter, so you just have to play with it until you figure out the right amount. And then if you dial it in for a single shot, a single basket, if you take it over to the double, it's going to double up the amount that goes down into that basket. This pressure gauge on the front tells you if the grind of the coffee is right. If you get it to go up into this gray zone, that means it's within the zone that's going to be uh, you know, a decent shot. Water tank right back here, same 67 ounces that the Sylvia has. It also comes with an insert here for charcoal filters, and they, and they uh, give you a filter when you first buy it. So that's a good thing. Um, volumetric buttons up here. You can actually program these buttons for the amount of coffee that's going to go down into your cup. So a single and a double. Either one of them can be programmed for the amount you want, up to about 8 ounces. Lights to tell you clean me. This one needs to be clean. This is one of our demo machines, which means that you put a tablet in there and you're going to run it through like a back flush. This does have a three-way solenoid valve just like the Sylvia does, which takes the excess moisture off of your brewing after it happens and deposits all that liquid down into the drip tray. Drip tray is right down in here. And, you know, I will say Breville thinks of everything. Here's a little tray that comes pulling out with the drip tray so you can put your accessories in there. Stainless steel grate, plastic, and there it is. And if you get enough liquid in here, this floats and it says, empty me. So that's the basic um, comparison of the Breville Barista Express, the second version, versus the Uanchilio Silvia, the latest version. They're both great machines. I would say, um, I don't know this for sure, longevity. We know this has been around for a long time, so we know it's a 10 to 15 year machine. We don't have that kind of track record with this one, so don't know. I did want to show you the steaming on this. This is what's called a heating up. This is what's called a thermal block, which means that, like I mentioned before, it will heat the steamed water, the water and turn it into steam on the fly. So it's going to be boom, boom, boom. A little bit slower steaming. And this is not up to speed yet, but you'll see. Which for those people that are not quite as experienced, it actually is kind of nice because it gives you more time to master the technique and get it down, get your frothing done. And then if you want hot water, you turn this in the other direction, you get hot water. On the Sylvia, I'm going to dump this because this thing really puts out some steam. It has very good steaming power. And then if you want hot water, you turn this. First you'll get the steam coming out. And then after that dissipates, it turns into water. That's how much steam was in there. Come on. I wonder if I have enough water in there. Maybe I don't. That could be the issue. Yeah, I'm running low on water. Anyway, by then I would have had a really nice stream of water come out of there, uh, which lets you make, you know, Americanos, lets you do a little bit of tea, that kind of thing. Anything you might want hot water for. Take a bath? No, it's too hot. So that's the uh, Ranchilio Silvia versus the Breville Barista Express. If you like this video, come on, give us a couple of thumbs up. Keep watching, sign up for our YouTube channel, and you go out in there and go get some coffee and have a good day.